So this is a story about how I started making things like this. An event coordinator stumbled onto one of my Facebook marketplace listings and asked me to build marquee letters. If you haven't watched my videos about these, check that out next. I built so many unique things for event coordinators and now I'm even renting my own marquee letters and selling the plans to different things like photo booths, champagne walls, and little carts. Believe it or not, I now make two to three thousand dollars a month doing absolutely nothing, selling plans and renting letters. And that's on top of the things that I build. So that's extra income also. And if I don't want to work one month, like in the summer when it's really hot out here in the shop, I don't because I'm still making money with the shop doors closed. If you're interested in things like this, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're making things like this bar cart or concession stand as we're calling it, you have to think about transporting it and setting it up at different venues. Event coordinators have to move this stuff weekly or monthly depending on how busy they are and they need it to be easily transported and stacked in vans or trucks or box trucks or trailers or whatever they're moving it on. So I tried to design this so that it would be easy to break down and stack so it's easy for anyone to move. Most event coordinators are women so it needs to be easy to set up and easy to handle. And that's one good thing about the marquee letters that I build. They're not heavy and they're easy for them to set up and make money off of. She rents them out just like I do. If you're interested in working with event coordinators, go out and find some venues and ask them who does their events and look them up and see if they might be interested in some things that you can build for them. So enough about that story, let's go into how I built this. I'm not going to go into great detail because not a lot of people watch build videos and it's just a lot of work to make them. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I built it, but not give you all the details. I should have plans for this later on. Um, stop back by and see. If I do, there will be a link to them. So it's pretty easy to build. All you have to do for the trim, like I'm cutting now, is cut the 1x4s in half. That's what I was measuring for. Uh, it's 1 and 3 quarters to the middle of it, so you cut them in half and then you have your trim pieces. And now I'm showing you how you can cut these sheets of panel and ply down if you don't have a track saw. I don't have a track saw because I don't need it really. I don't do this that much, uh, these long cuts like this. So if you don't have one, you can use a level like this and you clamp your level down however far away your blade is from the line. Mine just happens to be one and a half inches. So you'll figure that out. You'll clamp your level down one and a half inches away from the line takes a minute to get everything squared up. It is a little bit more time consuming than having a track saw, but tr good track saws are expensive, so I just never saw the need to buy one. I just always use this method and it works fine. So once you get it clamped down and everything straight and level, then you'll get your uh, skill saw or circular saw and cut down the line with your saw up against the level. Whatever you decide to use for your top, you'll have to put some trim pieces around it to make sure it doesn't slide around and locks it in place once you put it on top of your cart. I'm showing you what my measurements were for this, but yours may be different. You need to put your top on, get it where you need it, and then put your trim pieces on. Now I'm showing you the hinges and the measurements of the plywood. I went 32 inches high, and it's exactly 48 inches long. And your sides are gonna be 20, two and three quarters long.
This is showing you the trim, how it's opened, how one trim is connected to the side and one trim is connected to the front. You want to make sure when you close it just right that the trims line up with each other and also your trim on the bottoms line up with each other. If you build it like I did, you will have to plane down the trim boards to a half an inch because I messed up and put my panel board on after the fact. If you do that, then you're going to have to plane down your trim boards. It's not a big deal. Um, whatever way you do it will work. The base is exactly 48 by 24 with 1x4 trim all the way around it. Your 2x4 is going to be 45 for the long ones and exactly 24 for the short ones. And then your 2x4s in the middle are 21. This is all the materials you need to build this concession stand slash bar cart. You need half inch sanded ply. This comes from Home Depot. I get the sanded ply because it's smooth, looks nice, easy to paint. These are already primed common boards, one by fours. You can also get these at Home Depot. It took four eight foot long pieces. It only took one sheet of half inch sanded ply, one sheet of this panel board. This also come from Home Depot, or you can put whatever kind of design on the front and sides that you want, or you can just leave it plywood and paint it. I went with this because it makes it look more like a concession stand in my opinion. You'll need some construction screws like these. I used one and a quarter or one and a half, I think. You'll need some brad nails. I used one inch and one and a quarter. You'll need some stain, whatever color stain you want. And I used bare ultra white paint. You also need two two by fours to build the base and two packs of hinges that are two and a half inches wide. Uh, you can use whatever width you want. I thought two and a half would be sufficient for the weight of the sides. Uh, it seems to hold good. The screws are going to come out of the other side on this half inch because the screws are longer, but they're going to be covered with your trim, your one by four trim. So you don't have to worry about that. You will also need some type of top. If you go with a plywood top, you will probably need another sheet of plywood. I went with butcher block. If you're going to do butcher block, it's going to be a little bit more costly. Uh, I bought an eight foot long by 30 inch wide sheet of butcher block. Uh, we have a, a store called Southeastern Salvage here, and that's where I got this. It was only $100 for the whole piece, which is pretty cheap in my opinion for butcher block. Um, you could get this from Home Depot. I think they sell it, but they only do two foot wide as far as I know. And you really need 30 to span the length of the cart and have a little bit of overhang. I cut it uh, at 52 inches long. That gives me about an inch and a half to two inch overhang on the sides. And I have about a five inch overhang in the front. That's about it. That's all you need to build this. And you're looking at about $250 in materials. If you found value in this, please subscribe to the channel. It would really help me out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Yellowhammer Woodcrafts.